Since 2000, Hugh Jackman has been playing the Wolverine in various X-Men Universe films. In recent months, Jackman has suggested his run as a character is nearly over, and in a recent interview, he seems more certain about it than ever. Jackman said the following about a possible third Wolverine standalone movie. I'm excited to see what we can come up with, but I haven't signed on. I'm genuinely at that point where unless it's better than the last one, I'm not going to do it. When asked what story there might be for the third film, Jackman replied, I don't know yet, we're talking it through. I still am very ambitious for the character and tonally I feel like we corrected the ship with the last one. But I feel we can still go further in a way. If I did another one, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it would be the last, so that will inform what it is for me. John, your thoughts on Jackman's comments? Uh, well, first of all, uh, Jackman, you salesman, you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he's coming back for the next Wolverine film, and when you start dropping comments like, I'm only going to come back if it can be better than the last one. That just is a big setup for when they announce that he's coming back. It's like, Jackman must believe this is even better than the last one. So that's, he's going to be back for the third Wolverine of that. I have no doubt whatsoever. But what I also have no doubt is, is that he's very authentic with the last comment there. I believe, because look, we still got X-Men Days of Future Past coming. Then we'll have X-Men Apocalypse. And then that third Wolverine, there's three more movies. And I believe that will be it for Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. And like I, we've, when we've talked about this before, I always say the same thing. I can't be sad about that. We all love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine because he's been playing this character for 14 years. Yeah. Since the year 2000, he has been Wolverine. He has entertained us for hours and hours. He has earned it. He has earned the right to walk away from that role. Stop having to work out seven hours a day. No, to have don't the no, no. <laughs> At least he doesn't have to now if he doesn't want to. I mean, take a break from it and go and do other stuff. He's earned it. He's deserved it. Would I like him to play Wolverine till he's 65? Yeah, I would. But no, if he's going to call it a career, all we can do is applaud him and say thanks for the memories and you've earned it. And but we'd still have three more films. Anyway, Amy Rose, how do you see it? His quote was very accurate. It corrected the ship. If by yeah, ship did, you yeah. mean origin, yeah. Wolverine, embarrassment to all of us, <laughs> yeah. yes, you're right, it did. I had some issues with Wolverine, but overall I did like it. I do really like James Van Gold's take. And yeah, me too. I, I do have confidence that he's going to turn out a script worthy of Jackman returning. Um, but I do think after the third, he's not going to come back. And I, I respect that as well. This is what, the seventh time Days of Future Past, right? Yeah. That he'll be the character, which is just insane. And the Wolverine was kind of his best rendition yet. Oh, no, well, yeah, he, he that was, was the amazing. best Jackman Wolverine And he's ever. the old, like, I don't get it, but I, I applaud you, sir. So I'm okay with him. You know, I, I understand, like, it's, it's home for him, this character. He's been playing it so many years, but after that, it's like, okay, I want something new. We've seen, it's not like he's a one-trick pony. He sings, he dances, yeah. he does everything. He does drama. I love Prisoner. So, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with him walking away from this character. And when he was first cast, it was like many other characters where people were like, oh, not Hugh Jackman. He can't be Wolverine. And then 14 years later, we're like, right, that it can't be anyone else. Broadway <laughs> singer is yeah. going to be so, Wolverine. I still would like an old man Logan, though. Um, first before he retires, so we'll see. Mel Gibson. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I, I have to echo your sentiments, what you said before too. At this point, he's Derek Jeter on the Yankees. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, you've played, you've done everything you possibly could. Bravo, sir. You know, it's whoever fills his shoes, Good luck on that yeah. because it's because you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of people saying, well, you're not as good as you, Jackman, and you have Always. to figure it out. Um, I think Old Man Logan was where they're kind of going with yeah. that. I think that that, that right. if they have the last movie that he's in, it will be the old man Logan storyline is at least how I feel and I would like to see him go out that way mm -hmm. and he's the best. He was the best of all time and I look forward to seeing another rendition eventually, but that's a long time. That's still, we're still looking, what, five, six, seven years before that happens. Yeah. I, I, old man Logan is one that I think about a lot, but it would be really tricky to do. I'm not sure how you can do an old man Logan film and call it Old Man Logan without Hawkeye. I don't know how you do an Old Man Logan mm. film and call it Old Man Logan without the Hulk. I, I just, it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of story to me at that point. I have no objection, throw him on in there. Well, <laughs> yeah, just put him in. Do you, do you think non-comic book fans though would care? I mean, because I know there's you a, know, a hard probably core. not, probably not. That's just why I say then I wouldn't necessarily call it Old Man Logan. Yeah. Maybe yeah. an Old Man Logan type of story would be cool, but be you know, really look, cool. he's been playing this character forever. He's great, and you're right, I, I did like the last Wolverine film. 
minus the last 15, oh, 20 the minutes. Ninja part? It's almost like <sighs> the arrows. like it's almost like they changed directors in the last 15, yeah. 20 yeah. minutes. It and it's like went in a totally different direction. But he took the studio notes. Yeah, <laughs> that was probably it. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.